As with many pieces of music, you should probably play the dynamics of the Storch Harave Etude number 29 even more extremely than you think you should. In the fourth measure, and the second to the last measure, you can use a harmonic for the high A. In measure 16, make sure you make a clear difference between the 16th notes and the triplets. On the last line, the first note, I like to play this note as if it were the last note of the rising, fully diminished seventh arpeggio that precedes it, and then begin a new phrase on the second eighth note of the last line. In the second measure of the last line, it is essential to show the rhythmic difference between a dotted eighth sixteenth and a dotted quarter eighth. 